Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message today specifically geared towards those of you who come from a European descent, European lineage, European background. Now, before we get off into the message, I do want to put this disclaimer out there. This may be triggering to many of you, if not most of you. But I'm not here to coddle anyone. I'm not here to rub any bellies. And I'm definitely not here to hold back when it comes to speaking the truth. Now, I will speak with class, okay? Because I need to maintain my channel. There's a lot more that I would like to say. But I'm going to speak on this from a space of, of love. Now, I am far from racist. I spent many, many years taking care of your grandmothers, your grandfathers, your mothers, your fathers, your children, your sons, your daughters, your aunts, your uncles, cleaning them, feeding them, washing their ass, okay, sitting with them, talking with them, entertaining them, keeping a smile on their face, keeping them comfortable. And I did this from my heart, not just because it was my bread and butter, but because I believe in treating people with dignity and respect. And so this is not coming from a space of racism. I need you all to hear what I have to say. Europeans, I need you to get your people in line. For those of you who claim that you are on the spiritual journey and that you are an enlightened being and you are all about love and healing. I need you to get your people. There are too many Europeans out here. I'm talking about from the top all the way down to the bottom that are unhinged and they have been in this energy for too many generations. I need you to get your people in line. You're going to have to snatch them up by the collar and you're going to need to let them know what time it is here in the age of Aquarius. Because the things that continue to happen to the melanated man, woman, and child all across the globe is gotten so far, it's been out of hand, okay? And this is the time of judgment. This is the time of balancing the scale. See, my ancestors have not been vindicated yet, nor have the ancestors of many of those people who look just like me. And so the result was generation after generation of broken people, which created broken families, which created broken hearts, which then brought about anger that could not be targeted directly towards the source. Why? Because the source of this pain possessed nuclear missiles, bio weapons, right? They possessed the keys to your abundance. But all of this was stolen from us and you all know this very well. But I need you to get your people because what they're doing right now is every time a melanated woman such as myself turns on the news or we see another story about a European man or woman with a badge on taking the life of an innocent melanated man, woman or child that righteous indignation continues to rise, okay? But see, the reason why y'all wanna get your folks in line is because that righteous indignation does not put us on the streets to saying kumbaya anymore. That righteous indignation for a true chosen seed that has awakened is gonna put us on a spiritual path of spiritual warfare. And I'm telling you, please know this, and I say this from a space of love, you don't want this. You don't want that energy on your lineage. You don't want that energy over your bloodline. You don't want that energy 
on your friends, your family. Because, see, black spirituality is the one thing that the European has been the most fearful of. Please know this. You don't want that energy. But it's rising up. And this is, is, is more or less a fair warning for those who are operating from this space. So you know people that are operating from this space, but you continue to keep your lips sealed because you don't want to seem like, you know, an N-I-G-G-E-R lover, right? I need you to get your people, grab them up by the collar and tell it to them plainly. Because see, the problem is everybody, they're running around thumping their chest thinking that we have no power because we're divided, right? That we have no power because we have no authority. At least that's what they think. Here in the natural realm, yeah, you don't see it very much, but I'm telling you the spiritual authority that we possess you don't want none of this. I'm trying to give you a forewarning. We are not bowing down to a European Jesus anymore. Increasing the power of the European man, woman, and child. We are not sending our prayers in that direction anymore. We are connecting to the source, the creator of all, mother and father. Please know this. And it's coming from the hearts of righteous men and women and children. So we get what we ask for. And many of us are in that place where we are calling for judgment, righteous judgment, restoration of our places here in the natural realm, restoration of our inheritance, our birthright and sovereignty. Please know that our ancestors, they are ready. They've been ready. Because it's too many tears, it's too many graves, it's too many beings that look like us, that have never received justice. It's important for you to get your people and talk to them directly as I talk to you. Tell them what I'm telling you. Tell them about the spiritual ramifications of what's getting ready to come upon them and their children and their children's children. Get your people and speak to them directly. Because if you're spiritual, you truly understand the consequences of what's getting ready to occur after many generations of no justice. <sighs> if you're truly a spiritual being, I'm gonna need you to see this from a spiritual perspective and understand that the spiritual authority that the melanated man, woman, and child has in the age of Aquarius, you do not want that on your head or on the heads of your children. Get your people. That's my message for you all. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'll talk to y'all next time.